How to use Quinn AI Image Generator for free. Hello everyone and welcome back. Now, if you're tired of having to pay $20, $30, $40 every time you're trying to generate a AI image, then you are in the right place because Quinn has made it simple. Quinn is an AI tool that allows you to use it completely for free. There are no plans, no pricing, none of that. You can use all of Quinn's capabilities completely for free. So no longer do you have to pay $20, for one platform, $10 for another. Instead, you can do it all for free with Quen. And if you're only looking for an AI image generator, then Quen can do so much more. So let's jump right in. To get started with Quen, simply head on over to quen.ai slash home. From here, you guys will see Quen has three different tabs, Quen Chat, Research, and their API platform. Simply click on Quen Chat over here, which will open up the chat section for Quen AI. So once you do that, you're going to click on start now and you can also download their application. So if you're going to be a very frequent user and you like to keep your AI tools right at your side, then you can download their app. But I just like to use this in my web browser. So I'm just going to click on start now. Once you click on start now, you're going to sign up. Now I have already signed up, but I'll show you guys how you can sign up as well. So this is going to be your chat homepage. You're just going to click on sign up on the top right. You're going to enter your full name, email, password, and then you can proceed with your account. Or if you want, you can click on continue with Google or continue with GitHub to have a faster account creation process. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue with Google. Once I do that, I can just select the Google account that I want to be using to create my Quen account. So I'm just going to proceed and then click on sign in and then click on confirm. Once you do that, you just have to verify that you are a human. Once you have verified that you are a human, you're just going to proceed. And once you do that, your Quen AI account is ready. No subscription, no fuss. From here, you can get started with any general query, but we are focusing on image generation. So just click on image generation and you guys can see some examples at the bottom. Now I want to change the image size and I want to create a 4x3 resolution. You can click on this bottom left drop down and you can see all the different sizes that you can create. I'm going to go with 4x3 and I'm going to describe the image that I want to generate. A woman putting on makeup. And then I'm going to specify hyper-realistic woman putting on makeup in her bedroom. And now let's take a look at what type of image it will create. Now, this particular prompt is pretty generalized. If you have a specific idea in mind, if you're looking for something very specific, then I always recommend that you provide all the details. Within your prompt, you should be specifying the subject, the environment of the subject, the mood or the lighting, any interactions that the subject is going to be having with the environment, as as well as the overall features of the subject. So this is the image it has created. It's a very nice overall image. It looks like a really nice bedroom. The woman is applying makeup and it's a pretty nice image in general. I do think this has created exactly what we asked for. Now, if I want to proceed with something different, I can click on regenerate or if I want, I can proceed with my brand new image. Because there are no credits or no plans, I can proceed with however many images I want. So this time, instead of specifying the woman, I'm going to add a girl, a hyper-realistic girl putting on makeup in her bedroom. She has long blonde hair and is wearing a tank top. And now let's take a look at what type of image it will now create. And one other thing you can see is simply by going into your top right in your account, you can click on settings and you can go into models and you will see the different models that are available. By default, you would be using the most latest model, which you can see on the top left. But if you want to change your models, you can also change a different models and you can expand for more models. And you can click on temporary chat as well if you want to temporarily chat with the AI model without having it store any information. Now this is the new image it has generated to a girl putting on makeup. She's wearing a tank top and she is a teenage girl and you guys can see it has changed the setting of the room accordingly. Now this is just image generation. If we proceed with slightly different uh, type of generation, I'm going to go with the one ratio one and I'm going to ask it to create a logo for my creative art workshop brand called Ornamo. And now let's take a look at what type of 
logo it will create for us. Now you can specify the colors you want to use, you can specify the text that you want to use, the style of the text, the fonts or the font styles. If it's not going to create exact fonts, it will easily be able to replicate a certain type of font as well. So now let's take a look at what type of logo it can create because that is a huge part of image generation as well. And this is not the only feature that is available on Quen. Quen is a full-fledged tool. So if I click on new chat over here, you guys can see that it has the ability to upload documents and images. So I can also click on upload image and I'm just going to be uploading a image that we have previously generated. So I'm going to open up this image over here and I'm just uploading the image and I'm going to ask it to change the color of the woman's hair to blonde. Let's say we want to do that. Now from here, we would need to use a, you know, tool and then it is good, giving me the fine tuned instructions that I can use to change the color. Now if I go into image generation, I can ask it to generate a similar image and change the color in that particular image. And that is how you can do those kinds of images. Now you do have the ability to upload photos photos, videos as well, but the video editing options are going to be a bit limited. So do keep that in mind whenever you are thinking of using this platform to edit images because this is primarily a image generation platform. Now we're going to describe the people and the activity. So I'm going to upload a image and I'm going to ask it to analyze the image, which can again be a really helpful tool for different types of analysis to understand and improve your images. So describe the peoples and the people and their activities in this image. And just like so, it is describing the image for us. The overall setting is a professional polished look intended for a beauty advertisement. The focus is on both the woman's appearance and the eyeshadow palette. Now I can copy this and I can click on image generation. Overall setting has a professional and polished look eyeshadow palette. And let's take a look at if I reverse engineer the description that it provides for my images, what type of images it's going to create. So you have this ability to really do a lot with Quen AI without having to pay for any improved models, without having to pay any extras. And oftentimes image generation on almost all models is pretty limited. So because Quinn is a completely free to use platform, it's a really amazing tool when you're using for image generation and even video generation. So this is the type of image it has created. And again, this is a super professional image. It included an eyeshadow palette. The woman looks pretty nice. And this is how we can, you know, proceed with remixing our images and doing more with Quinn. Now, they also have some other core features, which include their deep research, video generation, code generation, and so much more. So you can read, document, and summarize documents as well. You can click search and link the world and you're able to access internet sources as well. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with Quen AI. If you guys did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, make sure to leave those in the comments down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.